Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hills which is called the Stick Foundation. I know a couple of you have asked me to do a review on this but to be honest I wasn't quite sure what shade to get so I did a little bit of research and there's a few people that I follow on Instagram who are the same shade as me in MAC that is an NC40 stroke NC42 and they all use the shade warm tan which is why this is the shade that I eventually ended up buying and it happens to be an absolute perfect match this is exactly what I'm wearing on my skin right now as you can see it is a perfect perfect match to my skin tone now altogether there are 30 shades in the entire um foundation rage by anastasia beverly hills there is basically a shade for every single person norvina who is the president of the company has gone above and beyond to make sure that every single skin tone is catered for to the point where she is still releasing new shades now now this is only available at the moment through Anastasia Beverly Hills Direct and Sephora. I bought mine from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I use a company called My More Box, which is a forwarding company based in the US and I had it shipped over to me that way. I will link the video below as I always do. I will always, always link my video below regardless of what kind of video I'm doing just so that you guys are aware of the options that you have. They don't just ship to the UK, they ship all over the world. So if you choose to use them, by all means you can. And you're probably wondering, wasn't she just wearing that outfit in the other video? Yes, I filmed three reviews back to back of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just this one, I changed my lipstick. This one is uh, Catherine liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so this retails in at $25. So let's call it with the really crappy Brexit exchange rate that we have with the pound, which is doing so bad right now. So let's call it just over 20 quid, something like that. So let me just read from their website what they claim that this foundation does. It says a highly pigmented, buildable cream formula that leaves a natural matte finish. Apply Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation as an over, all over foundation, sheared out as a tinted moisturiser or for highlighting and contouring. Available in 30 shades, lightweight tubes are perfect for travel and on the go touch ups, ideal for combination or oily skin tones, a shade for all skin tones. And it just comes in a standard little black box like this. Uh, it says the same thing, highly pigmented, buildable, cream foundation stick, la 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 la, okay. So it comes in a really nice sleek tube like this and it says Anastasia Beverly Hills on the top. I really like this packaging actually. It's not short and stubby like um, some of the other ones like the uh, Makeup Forever one which is short and stubby. Not that I have an issue with it, it's just that I just... It's just a personal preference of mine that I happen to like this one. So like I said, my shade is Warm Tan. This is how much I've got left now. I have used this for about a week and a half pretty much every day in different temperatures, different types of weather from really, really hot sun to rain as well because the temperature has slowly been shifting in London and it's now starting to get really cold. So people are putting their heating on. The heating is on at work, which is on too high. And at home sometimes it's on too high as well. So those kind of things can affect the foundation. So this is what it looks like. Just one thing to bear in mind and it's the same with all kind of stick foundations you will go through it a lot more quickly than you would a normal liquid foundation purely because you probably end up using more so it's it's down to you personally actually how much you tend to use now uh, based on what they've said that it is a buildable foundation they haven't actually stated that it is a light coverage medium coverage or full coverage now in my personal opinion i'd call it a medium coverage foundation which is buildable to full coverage now somebody like me who has got textured skin who's got scarring who's got pigmentation i need that extra coverage now somebody who's got perfect skin who would then go and use this they'd probably be like but charlena it's full coverage yeah, but what are you trying to cover though? You ain't trying to cover much. You're just trying to even out your skin tone. If anything, do you even need to use foundation? I hate you people. No, I don't really hate you. Yeah, I actually kind of do hate you a little bit. Uh, jelly. Uh, but yeah, but somebody like me is perfect to use on because I am trying to cover up all those horrible marks that I have on my skin. Now, I tend to apply it four stripes to each cheek. One across that way, sides of the nose, across my forehead and just underneath my jawline then I blend it all in then I have to go back in again another three or four times on each side so that I can really cover up all those marks that I have so bear in mind if you're somebody like me you probably will go through this a lot quicker than somebody who's got really really good skin if that makes sense now the consistency of this I wouldn't say that it is I'm just going to compare it to the makeup for everyone purely because that's the only other stick foundation I've got that one is very thick 
and it takes it's a lot more harder to blend out and that one has a dewy finish now this one as they've said has got a very natural finish and it leaves a matte look to the skin uh, a matte natural look i agree with that 100 percent. i really love the finish that it leaves it's not sticky it's not drying it doesn't cling to any dry patches that you've got i've got a bit of eczema going on at the moment here and it's only really towards maybe hour 12 that it starts to cling to it but that's because the foundation at that point all the natural oils in the skin have started to mix with it and it is starting to get to that stage where you maybe need to wash your face really so it does last a really really long time and it i only really tend to get a little bit shiny around the t-zone probably i'd say after about eight to nine hours and then a little bit of blotting powder will sort that right out one thing i love about this is that the consistency of it is very unique i find that when i apply it to my face it almost feels like i'm applying a almost powder cream kind of foundation in that when i take the brush that i use i've just been using a morphe buffing brush i'll just show you the fact that it is dirty i have used it today it is the morphe m439 buffing brush i've been using this and i've used another real techniques brush i've also used a beauty blender now beauty blender shears it out too much for me so there's no point using that something like this it just literally all i have to do is one two three and it's blended in and it's just like, wow, it really is effortless. You hardly have to do any kind of hard work to blend it in. Once I've done it all one layer, then I go back in again, like I said, uh, when I apply it to both sides of my face, it blends in to that foundation that I've already applied beautifully to the point where you would not know that there are multiple layers there. So I really love the way that this applies. It doesn't dry down because it's not liquidy. And even though it is a cream foundation, it's still very cream to powder almost so that it doesn't have to dry down, if that makes sense, because it's already kind of dry. It doesn't settle with any within any lines on my face either. I don't really have that many lines. I mean, I'm 34 years old now, but I am South Asian. So, you know, touch wood, it's just genetics really that my skin is aging quite well. So I don't have any real fine lines around my eyes or anything like that or really around my mouth either yet. Let me just show you on my hand how it comes out. So there is how it looks. Obviously, bear in mind that my hands are a completely different color to my face. And then it just really easily blends. Obviously, I don't use my fingers to blend it out, but there is the option to do that if you wanted to. And voila, it's blended in. Beautifully, seamlessly. Actually, you know what? My hand, it is the same color as my hand, shame. It's blended in perfectly. You can't even see that it's there. It's got a kind of a strange smell to it it's not a nice smell but it's not a discernible smell that you can smell when you apply to your face to be fair if i hadn't just sniffed it right now i wouldn't have even said anything to you guys because i haven't gone out of my way to actually smell it but overall i'd say it's a really really good foundation is it something that will become my holy grail foundation maybe not purely because i need personally something which is a lot more full coverage and something that i don't need to use as much product of because this one I do need to use quite a bit to get that coverage that I personally need. Now it says that it's really good for combination to oily skin. Definitely yes because it is that kind of dry sort of cream to powder like I've said. So if you've obviously got dry skin and it is that kind of texture it may just kind of cake up a little bit on those areas where you have got dry skin. Um, I really like the matte natural look that it gives. I mean you guys can see it for yourself. It is really flawless and I am really, really genuinely quite happy with it. Let me just think, what else is there to say? Not really much else to say, really. I'm generally quite happy with it. So I would personally give it an 8 to 9 out of 10. Um, that is just based on my own experiences. Obviously, other people may give it a 10 out of 10 um, because it's not a bad foundation at all. It doesn't oxidise on me at all transferable yes it is transferable you know when people ask oh when i've done a review is a foundation transferable generally they all are transferable it's a foundation it's makeup that sits on your skin is your lipstick transferable yes if somebody wipes your hand across their eye is it going to come off yes it is it's only when a foundation claims to be non-transferable is when i will mention it so yes this is transferable but at the moment it's still fairly fresh i've had it on my face i'd say about three to four hours it settles nicely into the skin it blends beautifully into the skin 
easily, seamlessly, effortlessly, and that's what we need. It's perfect for people that are on the go. If you're like me, you go to the gym or you travel a lot and you don't wanna have to carry a liquid around with you, which may potentially break, this is perfect to take with you. So that's it. If you've got any comments, questions, or anything like that that you'd like me to answer, feel free to let me know below. Other than that, I hope you guys are great. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.